This segment brought to you by the Kansas Soybean Commission, the Soybean Checkoff, progress powered by Kansas farmers. Welcome back to Farm Factor and the Kansas Soybean Update. This is the Kansas Soybean Update. It's brought to you by the Kansas Soybean Commission. The Soybean Checkoff, progress powered by Kansas farmers. Bob Hazelwood, a Barrington, Kansas farmer, joins us, and he serves as chairman of the Kansas Soybean Commission. Bob, the Kansas Soybean Commission has a regular meeting on March 27th, but during that meeting, you will be discussing potential nominees for the United Soybean Board. That's one of our duties as the Kansas Soybean Commission. We are a qualified state soybean board, and that's one of our duties to appoint a person to the serve as a United Soybean Board Director. We currently have three directors from Kansas, and we have one of them's term, his three-year term is expiring in December, so we have to appoint someone or reappoint the person that's in that position. So we are currently taking applications for that position. So if someone is interested in applying for that, take us through the process of what they need to do. First off, if they want to, they can call the soybean office at 877 577 Six nine twenty three, and talk to someone. They will send them out an application, or they can go to our website, kansassoybeans.org slash forms, and should be able to find the application for the USB director slot on that website. And Bob, if there is a farmer out there that wants to be considered for that position, is there a deadline they need to get that in by? Yes. Our Soybean Commission is meeting on March 27th, and at that through that meeting, we will consider all applications at that time. I would suggest they make sure that they have it back to the office maybe the day before that so that we can conduct that business anytime during the meeting. And as far as the person who is nominated and who would serve at that position, that is a three-year position that would begin when? The time that they start will be December of this year when the new term would start. The United Soybean Board holds a meeting every December. You know, it depends a little bit on the calendar. The appointment is done by the Secretary of Agriculture because we just, as a qualified state soybean board, is just making a nomination, and the Secretary of Ag actually makes the appointment. And once again, they need to get that in by March 23rd. Uh, but give the number and website once again that they can do that. The phone number is 877-577-6923, or they can go on to the to our website, and it's kansassoybeans.org slash forms. All right, Bob, we appreciate you joining us. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you. That is Bob Hazelwood, who serves as the chairman of the Kansas Soybean Commission, He joins us on the Kansas Soybean Update. It's brought to you by the Kansas Soybean Commission. The Soybean Checkoff, progress powered by Kansas farmers. Learn more at kansassoybeans.org. For Kansas Soybeans, I'm Greg Akagi. After the break, Dwayne visits with Dr. Amelia Woolham, who talks about how to keep cattle healthy when fighting against drug-resistant bacteria. 